In today's video, I will share mindsets to beat procrastination. They have helped me trick my brain into doing very hard work and I hope it helps you too. The first mindset is to stop judging your work. Most people find it very hard to start an activity because of the high expectations of one's art. As I explained before, resistance is at its highest when the activity is beneficial to you or you're very passionate about it. This is because you probably want to do amazing at the task and end up having a massive resistance to just do it. Let's say you're preparing for an exam for your favorite subject. If you get a high grade, you'll be accepted in the university you always wanted to go. Now you're stressing and expecting the revision to be highly productive and your flashcards to look the prettiest. This can happen in any situation, at your job, making music, or even starting your own business. And it's the expectation to do great that impedes you from sitting down and just doing whatever it is. So just tell yourself, make some garbage. That's right, let's write the worst piano piece and laugh at the result. How do you think I beat procrastination when making this video? By hitting the record button and laugh when listening to myself sing when I get the words wrong. Just listen to this. Resistance is a high... Ah, yeah, 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 la, la, la. <sighs> Don't be so harsh on yourself and just start the work you need to do. Next up is the mindset of starting incredibly small. Just the motion of doing easy work will help you bring focus without feeling overwhelmed. A YouTuber I follow which uses this mindset is Thomas Frank. He has used it to write the book 10 Steps to Earning Awesome Grades. In the video 3 Ways to Trick Your Mind into Doing Hard Work, he shares that to reduce resistance, he would only commit to writing 500 words every single day. Thanks to this low resistance, what was going to be a simple PDF file resulted to be his first book. Stephen Denier is another great example of this. He's an American author which achieved a Guinness record using this mindset. He made the largest granny square in the world. He'll break his ambitious goals and by doing this, the resistance will decrease. One quote he said that I try to apply to all of my objectives is, when I say that I want to hike 33 trails in the front country, people think about the decisions at the top of the mountain. But that's not what it is about. Because if you don't make the right decisions when you're on the couch, there is no decision that occurs at the top of the mountain. In other words, he's saying that in order to achieve your most ambitious goals, you should make the small decisions and actions count. The final mindset to have when procrastinating is to just do it. I mentioned this briefly on my last video, so here's a more detailed explanation. Like I said, resistance is usually stronger when the outcome of the task is more beneficial. Therefore, we can say resistance acts as a guide or compass to the most important tasks. Every time you feel resistance to do something, just do it. Break the activity down, don't judge yourself, and get to work. Try this out and you will most likely realize it wasn't very hard to do. Soon, you become a master of defeating procrastination. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one.